Hello everybody, welcome back. In this video we'll be looking at how we can go ahead and use, so this is GitHub and this is the repository that I'm looking at, um, which has one comment. What we'll be doing in this video is we'll be adding new comments and then resetting back to this one. So let's go ahead and quickly do that. Let's get started with this. Um, in this folder, which is also my git remote minus v, which is also you were just looking at that repository right there, sample junk project. That's the repository. <coughs> Excuse me. That's the repository. Now, if we do a git log, we have just one comment. So let's quickly go ahead and make a couple of comments. So let's add some files. I'm just gonna echo blank files into one.txt git add that to the staging comment minus m added one.txt and git push we enabled passwordless comment in the last video so uh, it shouldn't prompt for any password to push this comment. There we go, that's all done. If we go here and refresh the page, we should see a new, new comment. While we're waiting, uh, what I'll do is I will go ahead and add a couple more comments, push them push them up here and then what we do is we'd go ahead and reset it back to this comment right here so uh, let me pause the video and go ahead and do that so that's pushed it up and if we refresh the screen we should be able to see two comments there we go so um, let me pause and add a few more comments. Alright, so we've successfully added a few files and pushed them up and if we check github we should have a few comments. There's five of them and that's our first comment. Now let's say I want to discard all these changes which means I want to delete all the changes and go back to that version. Uh, there is a command to do that, git reset hard. There's also a soft reset, do read about that. Uh, but what I'm interested in this video is a hard reset, so I want to delete all these changes, which means it will revert back to this version. So let's get started. I'm going to go git log, and that shows me how many commits are, the, are there, and both my uh, origin and local repository master branch is pointing to the head uh, on this commit, pointing the head to this commit and I want it to go back to this one so let me copy part of the SHA so I do git reset hard and I just want to paste that so what that does is on the local repository it's deleted every other commit after that which means the head is pointing to the master. You can notice that the origin master is not listed. So if I do git push, it will complain that the um, master branch on the origin is ahead of the local repository. So as you can see, changes were rejected because the tip of your current branch is behind its remote counterpart, which is your origin master. So how you can push these changes to remote is by git push force. What this will do is this will delete your revision history from that commit onwards on GitHub. Now you want to do this with caution. You have to make sure that you know what you're doing before you can do this. Doing this will delete all the changes you made from the point of this git sha. So after you've made that commit, anything after that commit is going to get deleted. So if I do git log, now there's only one commit, which is the first commit, and it has a head, my local branch master, and the 
remote master, all pointing to that. I've gone ahead and added a few more uh, changes. So if I do git log, you will see two more. Sorry, git log, you should see two more changes, three and four dot txt. And I've also pushed them as you can see here. So if I go back and refresh this page, it should show two more comments. There we go. Now, um, I want to show you how the soft reset works git reset soft and I want to say this sha right and space there we go if I do a git log now as you can see it has also removed these two commits added three and four on a soft reset okay so that's git log and now if we do a git status let's see what's going on there you see what happened so it did switch to that version but it has staged the files that were removed so it did not delete them it has the files but it put them in um, staging you could decide whether you want to stash them or you want to delete them so that's up to you but it's put the revision control on the repository back to the commit we selected so that's the difference between hard and soft reset so you still have to manage this on uh, however you decide that you want to manage it now if I try to git push like I did earlier it should complain there we go it says the tip of the current branch is behind from that of the remote branch so you have to you can either force like we did earlier git push force and that will delete the two commits even from the github repository but you still have the changes as staged so if I now go back to github and refresh there we go we just have the one comment but if I go ahead and add them and commit them Three and four, git push, then go back here and refresh. You see that it says create mode because it's created these two files now and it's pushed them. So if I refresh, should be all right. There we go, added three and four, all, all the changes in one comment. Alright, with that I'll conclude this video, I'll see you in the next one, bye.